Hi, I'm Michael Hotman with Winnebago Towable. And today I'm going to talk about the Micro Mini Travel Trailer and kind of give you an overview of the Winnebago product and why Winnebago, what makes us different than some of the other brands and a lot of the things that you don't see that, that really set us apart from everybody else. I'm going to start with the uh, tires, kind of work my way up through the coach, kind of give you a, an overview of it. The tires have a five-year warranty. The first two years, free roadside assistance. So whatever issue you have, you have a problem, you pull over, there's an 800 number, you call them, they'll come out and take care of the tires. First year, no questions asked, they replace it. Second year, under the warranty criteria, they will replace a tire but it's a five-year warranty on the tires. Secondly, I want to talk about the axles. We use a Torflex axle, so it's almost like having an independent suspension. So each wheel reacts differently. It doesn't translate through. It's all independent. So rather than bouncing over the interstate, it's going to more undulate over the interstate, give you more control and stability while you're towing the vehicle. I mean, you've got a seven-foot wide, 21-foot long unit that weighs 3,800 pounds, with 7,000 pound capacity, it's really built well, strong and durable, so that you're gonna have a great towing experience and have more control over it while you're pulling it. I also wanna talk about the ground clearance. A lot of manufacturers, when they add ground clearance, they're just flipping the axles and they send it down the road that way. With Winnebago, whenever we make a change, it's an engineered change. It's an engineered upgrade. It's an engineered feature. So with that said, there's a bracketing system with different bolt holes, and by putting it in a third hole, it gives you four additional inches of ground clearance. Well, additionally, we put 15 inch tires instead of 14 inch tires. So what that means is, when you're going up steep drives, or in the woods going up steep trails, that back end is not gonna drag on the bottom. You're not gonna rip your plumbing apart. You're gonna have plenty of ground clearance to cover that. So that gives you more stability because you're going to be more even with your tow vehicle too. You're not going to be down low. It's going to be more stable. So there's a lot of subtle differences that is a benefit by having those 15 inch tires, four inch ground clearance, and five year tire warranty. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the frame. Most other manufacturers use a welded and painted frame and that's fine. We use a very significantly different process, which makes it much more durable, rugged, and is gonna last you better over time. They're all wonderful and beautiful when they're at the dealership lot, but it's what you have one, three, and five years down the road. We're gonna have a better experience, you're gonna have less issues with it, and you're gonna have better resale value with the Winnebago versus other brands. So the way we make our frame is we get our frames from Norco. It's all US steel, made inside, shipped inside, stored inside. So it gets to Norco and it's beautiful, shiny, pristine metal. They're our CNC machine. So every bend, every curve, every punch, every hole is exact every single time. Then they don't paint it, they use a powder coating. They use an electrical charge to impregnate that coating into the steel. From there it goes through a 200 foot oven that additionally bakes that coating into that steel. Now they have these great showroom show car quality parts and they put it in a jig but like i said they don't weld it they use what's called a huck bolt it's kind of like a big rivet and they use six thousand pounds of pressure to expand that rivet and hold everything together it's the same technology you use in airplanes freight trains tractor trailer beds so it's a lot more uh technically advanced stronger more durable and again it's going to last you over time because if you have another unit and it's welded and if a weld cracks or breaks it can compromise the integrity of the frame and now going down the road it might shift a little bit or give you a little bit of problem it can cause excessive tire wear so this is going to tow more true keep more straight behind your truck and not have that additional issues another thing we do is camber our engineers engineer design camber into the frame so what that means is if you're ever going down the interstate and you see an empty tractor trailer bed and it's kind of bowed, that's called camber. So what that means is when they load their stuff on there, it equals it out. It helps with the weight distribution so it's not all in one spot. Our engineers engineer camber into our frame. So when they put the sinks and the toilets and the beds and the, all the equipment in there, 
it equals out the weight distribution for a better towing experience. So now we've got camber, dual axles, 7,000 pound capacity, powder coated, huck bolted frames. There's so much we do for the structural integrity of our coach that other manufacturers don't do and you don't even see it. There's a big difference in buying a Winnebago and it's not just because it's got a Winnebago sticker on the side. It is built differently. The next thing I want to talk about is the flooring. So you've got the steel frame, the aluminum decking, and then plywood flooring. Plywood, not particle board. 5 8 inch, industrial grade, tongue and groove plywood. It's not butt jointed, it's tongue and groove, interlocking. Some other manufacturers are using even half inch particle board. It's a big difference. You don't get that squishy feeling when you're walking on our floor. And more importantly, if you spill something, or when you spill something, if it does weep into the wood, it's not gonna crumble apart and fall apart because it's plywood. With that said, our flooring, when we had that component, we put linoleum across the whole floor and then we build on top of it. We're not cutting the linoleum around the cabinetry, we're laying it down and then building on top of that. So with that said, when it comes to our cabinetry, all the wood and material behind the cabinetry, again, that you don't see, other manufacturers are using MDF. MDF is basically sawdust and glue. Think about putting a screw in a piece of styrofoam. You can do it, it's just got no bite. So, what we're using behind all our cabinetry is solid pine. It's what they use in homes. It's modern construction. It's a lot more durable. It's less forgiving. It is gonna hold the screws and fasteners much better. So again, over time, you're gonna have a better experience. The style material around the cabinetry, that's a product called Lumbercore. That's a hardwood material also. They actually have to pre-drill and screw it when they're doing it because it's such a hard wood, it's like rock. Now it's still laminated like the other manufacturers, but the substrate, the wood itself is much harder. So everywhere we're putting a screw, we know exactly where it's going. It's not random. There's gonna be a steel backer or an aluminum stud. So screwing into that aluminum stud's great, but in addition to that, we're putting solid pine in the aluminum stud. So we're screwing into an aluminum stud with wood or a steel backer. It makes it very durable, very rugged, very strong because this is essentially a vibration box and you want things to hold together. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the sidewall. Boy, have we come leaps and bounds with the sidewall material, process, products. I'm so excited about the way we do it because the way we did it before was really, really good. They took a lot of care in how we did it. We don't have a, a lot of issues with it to begin with, but now we're at the forefront of technology on building our sidewalls. No other manufacturers at this point, we are at the most advanced product of building our sidewalls. If you go to YouTube, Winnebago Towable Lamination, there's a great two and a half minute video that shows you exactly our process. We built a brand new state-of-the-art building only for lamination. It's climate controlled. We're using all the best material in there. All the openings are cut with one one thousandth of an inch accuracy. Other manufacturers, they get their jig, they put a line, they slap a router in there, cut it open, put their window in there. There might be a half inch variance in there. The issue with that is if there's that variance, even though they seal it well, if moisture or water ever gets in there, it's got a higher probability of getting in. So, in addition to our accuracy, we've taken the wood out of it. So the outside sidewalls are a 1000 max fiberglass over Asdale. So an Asdale is a fiber component also, but we've taken that Lawan wood out of it. So even if moisture were to get in, it's not going to absorb wood because there's no wood there to absorb it. It's a really advanced process. It just makes such a huge difference. We've got thicker baggage doors, larger windows, everything is sealed so well, just beyond what other manufacturers are doing. It's something you can look at and you're gonna see the difference in that video. It's not just me saying it, you'll see how we do it. It's a great video to look at. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is um, the plumbing. So I'm an RVer myself and this is really a great thing. It's, it's um, what we do differently than other manufacturers. Most of them are just using white plumbing throughout the whole thing. That's not a big deal, but we're using red for the hot water, blue for the cold water, and we're using PEX fittings. So we're not just using white and hose clamps. 
What that means is the PEX fittings are more residential, they're more durable, they're more sealing, it's gonna work much better. But with having the red and the blue plumbing, if I have an issue with my hot water, I can more easily diagnose it by running the tracing it on the red plumbing. And even if I don't wanna do that, when it comes to the service departments, they're diagnosing it much more easily because if you've got a hot water issue, they can track it more easily, diagnose it more quickly and repair the unit and get it back to you more quickly. And this is something we're doing that you don't even see. There are so many things we do to this that customers don't see or realize or understand that we could take it out and save thousands of dollars and nobody know the difference. But it's the experience you have one, three and five years down the road. It's the experience you have while you have it. It's a trouble-free camping that when you finally get your time off, you want to put your canopy out, get your favorite beverage, and enjoy your time. You don't want to be monkeying around with screwdriver pliers and duct tape. You want to go out and enjoy your time. Um, I also want to talk about um, the uh, LED lights. So we're using LED lights on the inside of the coach, but we're also using LED lights on the back with backup lights. Now that doesn't seem like a big deal, but if you look at other manufacturers, they don't even have backup lights. They certainly don't have LED. Where that matters is when you're towing, you wanna be seen. Um, your truck's got LED lights, your SUV's got LED lights, you can be seen, but your camper doesn't even have backup lights. So we're advancing that technology and adding that to that to this product so that you've got backup lights, LED lights, rear mounted camera in the back uh, availability. Um, there's a lot going on with this that a lot of other manufacturers aren't doing. When we get to the roof, we've got a TPO roof, thermal polyolefin, vinyl. It's a vinyl roof, 12 year warranty. We put a, a slight uh, um, bow in the roof so that the water doesn't sit. It'll run off the roof. It won't, uh, it'll help prevent mold, mildew. We've also got uh, rain gutters on all four sides. So it's one piece vinyl, front to back, side to side no overlaps nothing like that it's all one piece um, rather than having say a rubber roof think about that you've got a rubber band throw it in the parking lot it's going to dry up shrivel up crumble up if you don't condition a rubber roof on a regular basis you're going to have a lot of issues with it so by having a 12-year warranty one piece vinyl roof it's going to be much more trouble free camping so I kind of want to give you an overview because we do a lot of the same things with our hike, micro mini, mini, voyage, and spider. A lot of the same things go across board, just like the Asdale um, and a lot of the other components we use. But with that said, we've got uh, the larger baggage doors. We've got the outside shower, enclosed underbelly, heated holding tanks, rear bumpers, spare tires, rear ladder, we've got electric awnings, LED lights, outside speakers, power tongue jack. I mean, the unit is virtually ready to go. It's turnkey. There's not really anything else you're going to need. It's ready to go. Um, so I hope you uh, take a look at Winnebago. I hope this helps you distinguish more clearly the difference between Winnebago and all the other brands because, you know, they're not all built the same. A lot of folks will have you think, well, they're all campers, which floor plan do you like? It's not the same. There's a difference to it, and it's not different just because it says Winnebago. So if you have any further questions, you're free to welcome to uh, email me at mhopman at wgo.net. That's M-H-O-P-M-A-N at wgo.net. And you're free to call me too, 813-520-1450. It's been a pleasure. I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.